Did you know, for example, 43% of men flirt with people behind their partner's backs? I have to confess, I sometimes flirt with people without telling my girlfriend, but it doesn't mean anything, it's just a bit of harmless banter in the steam room of a gay sauna. It's nothing. <laughs> 11% of single women have already picked out their wedding dress. It's an important decision. It's a lot of money to spend on a dress you're only going to wear never. <laughs> <laughs> and video game controllers have five times the amount of germs found on a toilet seat. It's their own fault for giving them that vibrate function. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> Shortstream, what else have the nation been talking about this week? Batches! <laughs> <laughs> Batches! It's a very upbeat response. Ah, they can't kill all the badgers. Well, they don't know how many there are. They've, badgers have moved the goalposts. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a quote from a government minister. When Environment Secretary Owen Paterson was asked if he'd moved the goalposts, because they're now saying they need to kill more badgers, he said the badgers have moved the goalposts. <laughs> <laughs> they do! I think the cull's a good thing, because they say that there's the equivalent of one dead badger for every ten yards between Tiverton and Exeter. They always say that, don't they? Yeah, yeah. people are always saying that. <laughs> no, but it's actually quite a useful way of finding your way home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, instead of just sprinkling rose petals as you walk along... <laughs> just follow the usual method, yes. You know, ..a trail of dead woodland animals. <laughs> what do you make of the badger cult? Well, I think it's interesting because obviously TB is supposedly spread by the badgers and with this cull now, they're all running for the hills and obviously spreading it even more. There is no TB. Do you think the reason people are so upset about badgers is because they're like our pandas? <laughs> <laughs> no, people are very, very, feel very, very fondly towards pandas. Do you think people see that badgers are... It's like a shit panda. <laughs> <laughs> they're a bit like, they are a bit like pandas because I... Love oh. watching two of them shag. <laughs> <laughs> what, a panda and a badger? <laughs> you, oh, no, no, no. Two badgers having sex, not anything weird. <laughs> you like watching a couple of badgers? Because there's, there's two pandas up in Scotland, they're trying to get to have it off. Yeah. So if people like watching pandas having sex, people might also like to watch badgers well, the, do it. The badger might help, because the badger could be like a fluffer for the pandas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see if the badger cult is up there. <laughs> yes, the badger cult's been extended as they say they haven't killed enough animals. The aim of the cull was to stop the spread of bovine TB and to distract Brian May from making any more music. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Carr, the guy you just saw in that video. Thanks for watching it because uh, somehow I get money from that. I, I don't know how. I don't, I don't know. Thanks for watching it and somehow that benefits me. And hopefully I'll see a live show at some point further down the sunny road. Good luck.